Oh, yes, he's back. He's back. But on a Monday. Yes, it's a Monday feeling. Which you feel like me, I'm knackered. It is that Monday work feeling when it's the first day back at work for me. Anyway. Most of you maybe are retired and Monday's just a good day. Monday's an extension of that Friday feeling and you're out there doing that RC fun stuff. Especially in the UK. Because slowly, slowly the clouds are dissipating and they're becoming depleted to produce sunshine. Yes, lots of sunshine, including possibly this Friday. And I can't wait. If it, It's so far, it's, it just never goes my way. Because suddenly there's a big rain cloud. Anyway, you'll be lucky because I put on like the little thumbnail a question mark. I didn't want to show you what I've got. And it's actually arrived now. It should have arrived Friday, but it didn't. It's something quite different because I wanted to home in my balsa cutting skills before I attempted an aeroplane, which I've got stuff to do with the laser printer and uh, got the uh, uh, Antoinette to build. But I just want to hone my skills a bit Something that uh, basically is not going to go up in the air and disappear into the sunset because I didn't do something right. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, we got the front of me cam and we got the overhead cam. Are you ready? Can you see? You can't see what it is, can you? Shall I just, oh, shall I tease? Shall I tease? I tease. He's going to tease. Oh, look at that. It's so close to the picture. I know you want to see what I've got. Shall I just do it? I rip off the band aid. Shall I? It's a boat! Yes, a boat! Chris, what are you doing with a boat? Yes, it's the RAF Crash Tender. Oh, yes. And it is build a boat. So I have to build it myself. It's from Slack Manufacturing. It is pre cut and everything else, but it's it's going to help me hopefully uh, get my skills with balsa, cutting with balsa and bits and pieces, shaping with balsa. And yes, I'm going to mention you again, Mr. Cliff Harvey. Yes, just the once. <laughs> And get my skills and I thought well you know I'm going to do this in, indoors I'm not going to bore you with a weekly episode and stuff like that I will record it I'm tired it's Monday um, I'm going to record it and um, in a quick time you know fast and bits and pieces whatever you call it um, so you'll see uh, see it built if if for any reason that uh, you do want to uh, uh, me to do weekly then I can I'll do a slow build but I'm sure you don't plus I'm going to be flying because the sun is come so I will be building this during the week, like maybe when I get home, maybe a half hour, hour or time, whenever, whatever, if I'm not too tired, um, as the about a billion dogs are barking in the background. Anyway, should we open it up? Let's open it up. So here we go. I'm bashing everything, including the camera. Um, I'd, yeah, I think uh, you should be able to see. Should be able to see. I don't want to sort of, I'm a bit close, as I say, I didn't get time to to do much so you're going to be looking at a box anyway here we are look all the instructions you do get metal bits and pieces here we go and then on that camera there you go lots of so you can see like the the kind of uh life raft things that they throw out and look at this this is part of the front of the boat i never knew that balsa block oh could be so light beautiful huh and this is all be sanded down bits and pieces so it all comes with bits of it. The only thing I haven't got is I haven't got the motor and the prop and the prop shaft and all that sort of stuff. I'll get that. Um, but this is like that's like a motor mount. So it's all literally it's been CNC cut. There you go, if you can see that. CNC cut. And um, that you just little cut there out the little there's little bits and pieces in there that you cut out. Um, and to make the boat, basically. Um, it's, it's, she's quite big. She's about uh, I think she's about 35 inches by about 10, something like that. Um, there is a word for it. I mean, there you can see the hull. She's quite big. She hull's quite big. But yeah, there's lots and lots of bits. So I mean, this is not a big video. That's why I didn't mind doing it on a Monday. I mean, I was going to do it Friday if it had turned up. Um, and, 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 you know, make a start on something. So here's like, you know, a lot of the windows and panels and bits and pieces. Um, something, there's that, I, I have no idea what that's for. That's chunk of, chunk of cheese maybe when you get a bit hungry. There's lots of wood in there, lots of wood. And I thought, you know, if I can hone my skills and I can get something, because the worst thing you can do with a boat, it will sink. If I don't do a plane right, it could just go off into the, into the sunset, never to be seen again. Except like for an angry farmer or something. You, know, you crashed in my field, boy, oh! That was totally not a farmer, but there we go. It's it's Monday. Anyway, it's, <laughs> let me quickly show you. So you should be able to see here. 
So you get like a uh, building picture instructions, which is fantastic, and building instructions. So it's 33 inches actually, and the beam is 12 inches. Um, now I, it, it's, it's just, I'm just going to quickly go through the picture. Hopefully you can you'll be able to see. I mean, if, if I can zoom in a bit, there you go. So as I say, just going through the bits and pieces. So the different stages. It's quite uh, it's quite detailed actually. Nice colour pictures are showing you what you're meant to do and what you're not meant to do. Uh, there is a there is it's not like a, it's not like the planes that I've seen uh, Cliff Harvey that's twice uh, do uh, where you know you you put the wood on here and then, then you can pin it down and but stuff like that. It's just like a, a detailed of scale. So as you can see the motor and the prop and the prop shaft, all these bits and pieces. There is people out there that are actually you know these these phone monitors actually made them work. But I intend to do a searchlight to make that work and then navigation lights. I want to do that. Um, which I can easily do. I think the, the trouble is with the fire extinguisher things, it's moulded. And I'm not sure how I would do it. There's one there, actually. You can see that. There's one there. Um, I, that, that's like the, the, there. So I don't know if I could... I don't know. So there's the picture with the rudder and everything else and the servo for the rudder. And this, uh, this is the pack that I got. It does get covered as well, which we will do. Um, with some, it's like covering, but you don't burn it on. It's almost like a, an epoxy goes over it and dries it hard before you spray it to keep it um, to keep it watertight. And there's some of the other boats that they do. Um, I just I, I after seeing uh, after I went to in uh, North London, I went to the RAF Museum, and they've got a couple of they're not crash tenders, they're rescue boats, but on the same sort of thing. I mean, the crash tenders were just number ninety three and number ninety four that were made um, out of Portsmouth in the UK. Um, and they was all to do with seaplanes. Um, so, you know, if the seaplane, there's a lot of seaplanes obviously going in from Portsmouth and bits and pieces doing their reconnaissance. Recon I can't say that word. Reconnaissance. Recon hmm. Doing their searches around. <laughs> reconnaissance. Recon I can't say it. Um, and sometimes that, you know, they used to be a bit battered and shot and God knows what else. So, these would be like uh, uh, water fire engines, basically, to go and put them out. And then you get the other rescue tenders that were that had the Rolls-Royce engines in. Um, I'm not, I think this did have a Rolls in it. I know they used a Ford V8 engine to power up the pumps and water and everything else. Um, but to be honest, when I was looking with the crash tender, the actual information, there wasn't a lot of information out there, which I was really surprised. There's a lot of information about uh, what they did and what they produced, but yeah. Um, I've yet to find out more information because I think, you know, stuff like this should be, you know, when you think of RAF, you think Spitfire, Hurricane, blah, 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 Tiger Moth, everything. You don't think of boats, do you? No. I think these are the height of, uh, so anyway, sorry. Uh, these, uh, so as you can see in these structures, these are just like the, the, so they tells you everything that should be there. And then it gives you sort of like, you know, picture 49 to 50. This is what you've got to do. So it's glass cloth, actually, it just says it here. And you cover it, and uh, which I've seen how to do. There is a YouTube site that shows you how to do it, so which is fantastic. So yeah, this is going to be my little my little home hobby when I've got home from work and I can't get out and fly. Um, so I'm going to probably do it indoors. So we'll keep the wife happy, or annoy the wife, whatever you might think of it is, for me being indoors. But then I can just sit down, I can put this to the side, and. Um, work on it as, as my pleasure and just I will video it with uh, with time lapse that's the word I was looking time lapse so there's lots of I mean yeah this one's basically just falling out anyway but I mean truly true I mean you know <clears throat> I've never really worked with balsa bits and pieces I have but until you actually feel it and feel the weight of balsa I mean you know you think that you know that's obviously part of the front of the boat that you've got to sand down that's going to be really interesting that is um, as you can see up here really interesting stuff um you've got to sand it to, to the to the uh to the, i don't know what you call it to it's not the kit yeah there's no how much i know about boats stern so i don't know the front of the boat and yeah yeah shape it in bits and pieces so <clears throat> but you know i think this is why i wanted to work with balsa so i get the full immerseness immersiveness of balsa so when i come to making a plane and, and designing i want to design a plane i've got some ideas and i've got some old plans that i need to put into a cad so i can laser cut them out and then cut them cut them um i'm not uh, at the cost and slowly get better and better because I, I think it's a lost art 
it was not, it's not a lost art, but there's there's not a lot of people out there that, that want to cut balsa and, and produce. Everyone just wants the pre-made model and get up and fly, which I totally get. But when I look at some of the guys that, uh, especially uh, at uh, the Popper Mirror Modelers Club, Spitfire Club, <clears throat> you know, what they can create and what they've created out of wood and balsa and everything else is just fantastic that you couldn't get off the shelf. Um, you know, so this is this is my beginning. Now, I know it's not a plane, it's a boat. Trust me. Um, you know, I'm getting that sinking feeling right now. <laughs> hey, boom, boom. Still don't know why it's for. I think it's a bit of cheese. I don't know. But there you go. That is what I was waiting for on Friday. The RAF. Let's just zoom into that while I'm on to see. Oh, that's it. Oh, sorry. Oh, wobbly cam, wobbly cam. Uh, yes, 93. Press turner, so 34.5 length and a 10 inch beam. It actually says it different in the book, so I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, I think it's a lovely boat and I'm gonna sort of create that and spray it up and you know, I'm gonna see if I can get details put in there. Um, I can get the nav lights working in bits and pieces and you never know, I might be able to bring it onto shows in bits and pieces, you know, float it around. But it's the craft that you want to keep alive of, of building your own plane because then you can get a blank canvas uh, and like a blank piece of of balsa and and create. Um, you know, I'm not that clever with the knife. I seem to sort of get a bit of wobble on it. But this is this sort of thing. You know, you could do it. And you know, worst comes to worst, you've got filling gaps, and so you just use some uh, balsa. I got this the other day. Um, which I used on the Spitfire wing, uh, my uh, wherever it's gone, my 1200, and it's called Wonderfill. There you go, and, and Wonderfill, there we go, sorry, they put it up here. Wonderfill foam and wood. Uh, it weighs nothing, and then you can cope with, with, with foam armour. Um, but it says, it's, it's called foam armour, but it's for protecting foam and wood surface before you paint. So, you know, you can fill it in and it's still light. I mean, that's heavy because it's liquid, but that weighs nothing. Um, I didn't realise you could get for foam and wood, which is obviously great because, you know, dents and dings, you know, foam and wood. Um, you know, but I'm ready to fly this Friday. I have got uh, the Spitfires. It's just it's just me playing about with it, really, but it works. Um, uh, it, the numbers are peeling off, so I've peeled them all off. So... <laughs> So I can spray, I'm going to spray them anyway so they're ready, but you know, there's other things that, that bits and ready. Um, it's the same, my Nitro, um, you know, it's not ready, I will wait for poor Heckles to get back. I don't know, we might be able to get someone down there, one of the uh, long long flyers oh, for many years, uh, get them to help me tune that engine in so it flies how it should be. Uh, but just recently someone passed their A certificate uh, with that very plane, with that one just down there that you can't see over there, there there you know the one I mean anyway so there you go the RAF crash tender boat is gonna build a boat oh yes well there you go just a quickie and it would have been more on a Friday feeling because we would have maybe started to do stuff or bits and pieces but please leave in the comments if you do want me to do like a slow build so it's not all fast um, you know if you're interested in this sort of thing or you think that I should you know, make some movies. Obviously, we're going to be flying. Uh, maybe this would be like, you know, a midweek special or something. I don't know. Um, or if you're quite happy, just don't put anything in the comments and I will just, I will make it uh, sort of like um, uh, time lapsed and I will build it and probably, I don't know, a month or so down the road. It'll be here, here it is. Um, <laughs> and then maybe we'll go through the process. But this is not, uh, the, you know, the boat is not my priority. Uh, the boat is a secondary. So if I can't get out of flying, and obviously during the week, if I feel awake, then I can do an hour or so, um, you know, sitting with my good wife while she's doing whatever she's doing. And uh, yeah, that's the idea. And then uh, hopefully that Friday feeling will bring some flights. <coughs> Excuse me. Flights or crashes or maidens or whatever it can be, it's going to happen right here. So enough waffling on. Once again, apologies if you couldn't get this on uh, Friday. I shouldn't apologise really because it's not my fault. It's the postage fault. But they got it here in the end and it's here and it looks great. I'm just blown away by how light actually balsa is, especially a block of balsa. It fascinates me. It really does. Um, and hopefully that uh, this is not going to be like a, <laughs> a complete nightmare with glue everywhere and bits of wood. And yeah, you can picture it now, can't you? I certainly can. So anyway, have a great week, everybody. If you're still getting out and flying, then fantastic. If you're still getting out and playing with your cars, your boats or anything else, 
enjoying rather than playing your RC journeys and enjoying life while you can, then fantastic. If like me, you know, you're gonna bust your ass all week just around them pennies for the RC planes and stuff like that, then have a great week. And don't forget, you can look forward to that Friday feeling and the weekend. If you're in the UK, finally the sun is here or decent enough weather to fly, which is fantastic. Finally, in May 2023, we're out there and we're having fun. Yes. So if you are getting out there, be safe, keep safe. But most of all, have that RC fun and tell the little ones about it. Let's get them going. Anyway, see you later and thanks for popping by. Ta-la.